Hello, in this video we will see how to use the apply function in R. It is very handy when it comes to um, uh, applying a specific operation or function on the margins of an array or matrix. When I say margins, it is the rows or columns. See for example, if I have a matrix with six rows and four columns and I want the sum of each rows. In this case, if we apply uh, uh, the sum function on the, on the, uh, uh, on the matrix, uh, it would help us to calculate the sum of each row in the matrix and we will see how. Let's go ahead and first see the syntax of the apply function. And if I call the string function on apply, it gives us, it shows the arguments of the apply function. And we can see that the first argument is basically an array or a matrix. The second function is margin. This is basically a uh, useful uh, to indicate R whether the operation has to be performed on row or column. The value of margin would be 1 if we want to indicate that the operation should be performed on rows. The value will be 2 if we want the operation to be performed on each column. The next argument we have here is function. And this is basically the operation or the user defined function which we would want to be performed on the margins. Say if we want the sum of each rows or each column, we would define here, uh, 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 we would pass the argument as the sum operation or the sum function or any other user defined function. The dot 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 is basically any other argu argument we want to pass on uh, for this, this function. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, see an example uh, and uh, try to use this apply function. So we will start with a matrix M1. Uh, we, we want a matrix with uh, um, with numeric elements and so we will start with uh, creating the object m1 let's define this object as a series of uh, sequence of numbers okay so we have eight elements we print the object we see it's a vector and we want the matrix so let's define the dimensions of um, of the matrix and we will define it as a 2 by 4 matrix meaning 2 rows and 4 columns and let's now print once again the object M1 and we see now it's a matrix and so what we are interested in is we want the sum of rows row number 1 and this is row number 2 and we want the sum of both the rows what we can do is we can use the apply function as per the syntax we want the apply function on the matrix M1 okay we want the function we want the sum of rows so we need to tell R that we want the operation to be performed performed on rows we will pass on the argument as 1 and what we want is the sum okay so we see here that we got the sum of the rows uh, sorry uh, yeah some of the sum of each row here the first row uh, the sum of first row is 16 and the sum of second row is 20. Suppose I also want to get the sum of each column in this case I would apply the operation on column and I would specify the number as 2 indicating R that we want columns this time and if we use the apply function on matrix uh, for the sum operation on columns we see that it gives the sum of each column the first column the sum of the second column 
third and fourth columns now imagine if I want to use uh, um, apply function and multiply each of the elements each of the elements by 10 how would I do so each element means I want the operation on uh, on each row and column so the first element would be the first row and first column um, similarly this one it's um, the second row and, and first column it's like we are talking about each row and each column so what we can uh, we can tell R to do is um, apply a function on matrix for both rows and columns and let me use a user defined functions uh, function because I want to cr I want to multiply each element by by 10 so function of x x into 10 okay so I get a matrix where each element is multiplied by 10 and that is because I defined that the operation should be performed on rows as well as column by using a combined function so just to summarize uh, in the, uh, we, we saw how to use uh, the apply function uh, on, on the rows on the columns rows and columns um, and it's really very very useful when it comes to um, uh, yeah, uh, applying functions on rows and columns so I hope this video helped you thanks